All right. Almost lost you there. I think this is a framing. I think it works, right? I think it, everything's there. Uh, fuck. All right, here we go. All right, cool, guys. So um, I said I was going to force myself to do these as often as I could. So I got a pretty busy day today. I got some stuff to paint, stuff to airbrush, stuff to finish uh, before Comic-Con. Um, so Comic-Con's coming up next week. I'm doing a couple of vlog videos um, on my way there and out there, and I want to make a, a vlog. Uh, to show you guys kind of like the behind the scenes at, at Masquerade. I've never done Masquerade at Comic-Con, so it's a new experience for me as well. And that's what the vlogs are about, are just kind of sharing those experiences with you guys who maybe you've never been, been to Comic-Con or you've never been to Masquerade. You kind of wonder what it's like uh, to be, uh, you know, to participate in that. So that's kind of like the goal for those vlogs so is just sharing experiences like Alliance Studio. Uh, my friend Dragon was... Uh, so so kind to hook us up with a with a tour uh, with Mr. Steve Wang himself and he showed us around It was amazing now. I wouldn't in a situation like that I wouldn't have been able to show you guys the inside of the studio, but I would have been able to share the experience of you know Going there what how it felt what we saw like, you know, how, just how amazing it was instead of just you know a, a Facebook post and a picture um, anyways so back to uh, the matter at hand today. I'm gonna be painting some masks, and um, I still gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it without a tripod out there in my garage. And um, for some of these shots, I'd like to get closer, but I wanna kind of show you how I do these. Uh, you know, just kind of like how I do the seams, how I dirty the whole thing up. Um, uh, I'm gonna make one extra dirty today for for somebody that wanted it extra extra dirty but you know basically how to get it from just the clean uh, screen print fabric to the final uh, version you guys get so that's the goal today I got a few to make I got a few to uh, to paint today so yeah uh, hopefully uh, you guys uh, enjoy this one all right guys so I'm in my actual garage you're gonna hear some machine washers and just like street noise uh, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand real quick just to show you guys what my paint mix and then uh, I'm gonna have to prop up this cell phone somewhere to do the rest so what I'm gonna be using is uh, a little bit of uh, this kind of like magenta color if you guys need exact uh, brand and uh, you know color number I can give that to you via email just hit me up um, some bright red some charcoal black oh shit Sorry for the language, guys. I'm gonna try to keep it like PG-13 for you guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, a little more difficult to do it with one hand uh, than I thought. So charcoal black, and then I have this mix of white and sand color uh, along with my magenta to just kind of give it the final overspray, like dirty, dirty look. Mixing everything in this size uh, container, uh, this is pretty good for the amount of uh, work that I'm going to be doing today without having to refill constantly. Um, I got my water with a little bit of Windex in there. This was actually a trick that was uh, taught to me by somebody at uh, Alliance Studios. Uh, it helps with the clogging. That's a super good tip. Um, the water eclipse is what I use uh, with the uh, 0.5 needle. Uh, for the fine detailing and then uh, 0.35 small compressor so I'm not I don't have anything like too huge and industrial over here uh, and again on my little Jimmy rigged uh, stand for the mask so first step is going to be taking out the eyes obviously you don't you don't need to concern yourself with like getting the eyes dirty like they make for refrigerator magnets uh, just uh, so you guys know so I'm gonna have to use the front camera this time just to make sure you guys are looking at the right thing. Um, kind of want to use that time lapse thing, see how it works. I'll try it out.
I basically go fine over these edges here, these little canals, uh, you know, around the seams. Uh, just, uh, just a little toothbrush action there. And it does just to get all that little detail in there. And then you saw me kind of dab it in with a little bit of, uh, I used a little bit of acetone just to like make it really sink in there. Um, I like to go all over with it and then you know like under the knob I go a little bit heavy too I don't know why I would think uh, I just kind of like to think that like a lot of dirt gathers there <laughs> so this is an extra dirty one for a friend of mine and yeah so once it's all done pop the eyes in and it's ready to go kick some ass uh, next step I go from here is uh, I hang them to dry over here like like a bat and then just set them down still got a few more to go but uh, I don't know hopefully uh, this is like interesting or helpful if you guys want to do one of your own like I can send it clean and then you can try your airbrushing uh, and uh, or you can I'm, I'm sure you can do it all sorts of other ways too it doesn't have to be with an airbrush I've seen people sponge in all the paint that can be done too um, I just use the airbrush because I don't know anytime I can airbrush I airbrush I just like airbrushing <laughs> so that's it guys hopefully uh, this video was uh, helpful uh, hopefully uh, I'll get to do more of these and uh, until next time I guess uh, comment below if you want to see any other uh, you know like video like this with a uh, time lapse and like painting or airbrushing detailing anything that you guys might want to see uh, that you've seen me do as well so for now that's it laters after you're done uh, airbrushing make sure especially if you're doing acrylics take it apart and really get in there you can get one of these uh, kits uh, for water uh, they come with like everything you need to uh, to make sure you clean your airbrush thoroughly now I only put the body in here for a couple of minutes you don't want to let this uh, soak in there uh, but everything else is in there especially the needle my my nozzle so I'm gonna let those soak for a little bit and then I'm gonna uh, clean them up there's other videos on YouTube on how to do this properly uh, you can check those out but I just wanted to let you know I'm a big believer in uh, doing this after every long session thanks